yeah, yeah. It's time for this to end. Wait a minute. Nope, not yet. Like we can't end yet. I, I told it would not be any singing. There's gonna be so or much the singing. Hell that was. <laughs> no, you're not getting any. You know. As a matter of fact, you know what? I am such a draw for you guys. I think I should come out to entry music. You know what I mean? Like with a robe and like, you know what I mean? A robe? Yeah. What are you doing with the robe afterwards? Are you un disrobing? Maybe. So I mean, right. you know, how much you want the ratings to go up here, you know? <laughs> Pretty high. <laughs> well, this, okay. this is the one segment where we don't do any introductions because introductions aren't necessary. No. We're here. I'm Ben. He's Ryan. That's Frank. And I'm the one and only Frank Thierry. Frank yes. Thierry. Frank, I wanted to ask you something for a year. A uh, one year, yes. Wolverine is dead. Is he? You are closely associated with the character. Yes, I How am. How did you feel about this this uh, this heinous killing? Meh. Yeah. <laughs> Meh. Like, I mean, we'll be back in like five minutes, right? Like, I mean, come on, let's be honest. Like, no yeah, royalties are coming in for Thierry, or Thierry doesn't yeah. care. Yeah, because well, I was the royalties were rolling in. Yeah. I mean, you know, every time you saw Wolverine in a lunchbox, man, I made move. How much moolah I made off of that? How much moolah? I moolah, made a, moolah, I like that. Moolah, yeah. Classic Thierry. It's just rolling in, yeah. Uh, I, we expect the moolah to roll in with your next project for yeah, us. Yeah, we got something yeah. to talk about. Yes, oh, yeah, as opposed to last time we talked about the lack of ice cream due to uh, arch criminal John Sarah. Really? Yeah. All right. Not giving you guys ice cream, which has been, I'm told, been amended. Not, finally. Not for this convention. No. Not, oh, you know, ice cream this convention. No, no ice, ice cream, cream this convention. No, it's convention. Yeah. Well, listen. Yeah. You know, he's he's a, he's a cheap piece of garbage. Okay. <laughs> and the only reason he gave any kind of ice cream is because I shamed him into it. Yeah. So I don't expect more ice cream. I think that's the last of the ice cream. You know what I mean? I watched that from home and it was quite an experience. I got really excited. I told my wife about it. She said, why are you watching this? I said, I have to, it's my job. Yes. Yeah. And then she said, I don't know, she went in the other room. That's fair. Yeah, that's yes. fair. What is Black Knight all about? Uh, Black Knight is, um, it's a book I've been wanting to do for like ever. Uh, you know, I've, I've written uh, Black Knight in uh, New Excalibur. I've written them in uh, oh, yeah, Original that. Sins, yeah. yeah. And we're picking up a lot of that stuff in, uh, in the new book, although you don't have to read any of that stuff. Uh, he was crying in his underwear in Original Sins, yep. right? Yeah, he was, okay. he, he was like in his tidy whities Like most scary characters reduced yeah. to tears in his underwear. And their underwear, yes, yeah. yes. From like, like experienced, yeah. like life yeah. experience. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah I'm, I'm gonna be crying yeah. in my room in my underwear. Yeah. Very, and right after this interview, as a matter of yeah. fact, I go in this robe and just start bawling. <laughs> yeah, well they say, right. Right, they say right what you know. Yeah, so there you go. Anyway, getting back to, uh, Black Knight is in Weird World. We find him in Weird World. That's and, awesome. And Weird yeah, World is kind of cool. like, if you don't know, it's like Quentin Tarantino's Wonderland. Do you know what I mean? It's like everything in their mother's trying to whack you, the trees, the flowers, <laughs> the, the dog, you know what I mean? It's like where you grew up. It's like, yeah, it's like Bensonhurst, okay? <laughs> but essentially it's Bensonhurst, okay? <laughs> so, yes. Uh, so he finds himself there, and um, he's fighting all sorts of lizard men and rock trolls and all sorts of, and you know, and we find out, we have to, during the first talk, why he got there. He's starting to succumb to the power of the blade. He considers it to be a, what he calls a necessary addiction. Mm. You know, you like that, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, all about those. Yeah. He's got a necessary addiction where he, where he feels he's the one that needs to wield the blade. Somebody has to do it, and he's that one. Um, the in the first talk, the Avengers come after him. Nice, those and jerks. Those Big damn money. those jerky Avengers. And the we find out why. Hmm. And the, you know, it might not be such a good reason that uh, you know. He might I have like done a little he, mystery. Yeah, he might a have done a little something, something. Yeah, it's very cool. <laughs> now, when I was a kid, the mm -hmm. Black Knight wore a leather jacket. Yep. Will yeah. that leather jacket be making an appearance? Can you promise us leather Can jacket? Can you not? No leather Can jacket. We get what is he, Fonzarelli with a freaking no, no. Hey. No, yeah, we'll got it. Yeah, did you say yeah. Fonzarelli? <laughs> yeah, Fonzarelli. Yeah, 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 I don't think Fonz Let's not make that. Yeah, that is not. No. No. <laughs> no. Uh, no leather jackets. Come on, guys. Any <laughs> villains that uh, we, we could talk about yet, or is it really just the overall weird world that we're, he's going to be Right, right now, I mean, he's fa like I said, he faces what, with, off with the Avengers in the first arc. Um, you know, I mean, technically, w w what we've been calling the series basically is Breaking Blade. Mm -hmm. I mean, ah, it's kind of Breaking uh, Bad meets Game of Thrones. Oh, you like that that's too, not huh? Bad. That's not bad. Yeah, sometimes. You've been thinking about this one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. So your artist on this is Luca Pizzari. Yes, he is. What are we, have you seen? You've seen his stuff coming in. How's it looking? It looks wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. Yes. What's the interaction like there? 
No interaction. Say, hey, you go draw that. And yeah. No, of course there's interaction. The interaction, That's what I'm asking. <laughs> the interaction is, um, you know, he actually designed the new costume, yeah. which kind of is more badass. You know, he's got that fa uh, face mask, and it's a little bit more, the, the, you know, this is not the typical Black Knight that we're used to. He will be a little bit grimmer and grittier and... Uh, uh, the costume reflects that. More T-R-E-S. Is More there, T -R -E -S. Is there any sort of language barrier given that one of you speaks English and then you speak whatever you speak? Right. Now I speak... Oh, oh wow. And you speak nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I get yeah. paid for it. <laughs> and get paid for it, yes. Oh, decently. I was going to say... I was gonna quote, say, unquote, paid yeah, I was going to say yeah. handsomely, but... <laughs> quote, unquote, hey, <laughs> poor. Um, all right, so uh, we have two options here. We can unbox some of these, see some fun toys, and hear Frank Thierry commentary, or we can spin the wheel. Why can't we do both? What is, what is, it, what is the spin the wheel thing? You guys, you guys have just basically run out of ideas at this point. No, no this we've come, come up with more ideas. Just basically, you know, what the hell? We're gonna, we're gonna open up toys, and here, there's this thing, boing. We're like, what is this thing of everybody? Can we record what do you the want sound the whole <laughs> of, it saying, of Frank saying boing so that yeah. when it lands? Like, what is it? You're gonna open toys here? Yeah, that's thrilling, you know what I mean? Hey. Whatever, do whatever you just want. I'll let, you know, you got me for like another five minutes here. Go ahead, run with it. Right, let's spin the wheel. Right. Let's spin this the wheel. Let's fun. do it up. All right, spin the wheel. Here, guys, I'm gonna spin the wheel. That's actually his excited voice. <laughs> yeah. Are right. they an Avenger? Ryan, do you want to explain the rules to Mr. Yeah. Thierry? So you're gonna give us a number between one and I don't know, 15 or 30. Yeah. Uh, it's number six. And um, we're gonna tell you. We're gonna give you a character name. You're gonna tell us whether they've been an Avenger or not. So yeah, number between one and thirty. We, we, we've sunk to no lows. Yeah. Well, all right. That's well, why let's, you're here. <laughs> <laughs> let's 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 run with it. What am I giving you a number here? Yeah. yeah give me a number. Oh, those are the answers that I just looked no, at. No, this no, is, you're this good. Is how those are the rules. Right, between one and what? Thirty. Thirty. 30. All right. Fifteen. Fifteen is the Black Panther. Oh, duh, who's the Black Panther? What, am I an idiot? Hey, obviously he's an Avenger. <laughs> let me check. Oh, come on, no, I mean, really? Let, let me check. Yes, he was an Avenger. Wow, all right, congratulations, wow. Frank. That's I gotta tell you. Answer for Frank all right, all right, all right. right. Let's, Brad, let's spin job again. you guys are doing it again with the wing. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, re really, the record's at five. I want to see if you can break it. I don't know what that means, but go ahead. Are they an X-Men? <laughs> what number is that? That mm. is number seven. Too yeah. easy? Again. He's got a lot of knowledge of the Marvel Universe. Yeah, so and he's... Don't be surprised, kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Frank, so. give me another one between 1 and 30. Let's go 15 again. 15 again. Oh, this is a tough one. Storm. Was Storm ever a member of the X-Men, Frank? <laughs> I, I, I mean, did I, like, suffer a stroke here during this... I mean, what is, what is going on here exactly? I, I, I don't get it. I, I mean, this is entertainment, folks. This is... Uh, is Storm an X-Men? Gee, I don't know. I will say... Yes. All right, hold on. Yes, Storm was a wow. member of the X Men. Wow. Two for two. What's Take next? What's my favorite three. color? What's the next question? What is your favorite color? <laughs> your mother's my favorite Whoa. color. Whoa! <laughs> I think my mom's actually watching, so that's great. Thanks so much for shout that. Right. I give a shout out to, to my mom. mom. Yeah, to his mom. <laughs> Let's go again. Let's go again. We got time. Again, because it's been so entertaining so far. I love it. We're all yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 with the wheel of nonsense. <laughs> it says what's oh, your hidden superpower, no. but I think we should go to Alien Racer Cheese. Uh oh, Alien Yay! Racer Cheese! Alien Racer Cheese on Wheel of Nonsense. So, <laughs> number 12. Frank, yeah. now let me explain the rules to this because I want you to follow. Uh, you're going to pick a number, number between 1 and 30. Ma, ma, ma. And uh, it's. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a name. It's gonna be either a alien race in the Marvel Universe, or it's gonna be a cheese. Oh. This so you, is really gonna test your cheese wow, now. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I need a number between one and 30. Let's go with the other popular 15. All right, 15's been a hit so far. Kodabak. Oh, Jesus Is Kodabak an alien race, or is Kodabak a cheese? Kodabak. I I mean, how the hell do I know that? I mean, for, I mean oh, yeah, you come up here, yeah. <laughs> saying our games are so easy. Wait, what kind of spelling? Let me have a spelling on this imbecile game of yours. <laughs> Kodabak. K O D A B A K. Kodabak. Kodabak. So it's got Kodabak. <laughs> yeah, from the Latin yeah. Kodabak, Kodabak, meaning Kodabak. 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 What's uh, over there? Yeah, what's I don't happening? Know. I don't know. So I'm just thinking. Where are you projecting? It's just doing that. You know what I mean? Uh, this is quite a stall is tactic. It Kodabak cheese. I mean, I, I don't know, I'll say it's a. Anybody want to give me a hint? No, no one else. No one else. 
Oh, man. All right. All right. This nonsense. Alien race. Is that your final answer? That is my final answer. If you if you were saw on a menu Kodak cheese, would you be afraid to order it? Absolutely. Okay, well that's a good good instinct because Kodak is indeed an alien race. Oh, hey! Frank Thierry goes three for three. Frank, is there is, is there anything is there anything else you want to talk about? We got we got like a minute left. Yeah, one whole minute. No, there's not really nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> it's a minute too long. Yeah. We covered everything. Yeah, we, we got the cheese with the aliens and, the, and your mother. Another alien race of cheese. <laughs> another alien race of cheese? All right. All right, one more between Wheel 430. Wheel of nonsense! No, Frank, you don't need to spit. <laughs> <laughs> Just give us a number between 1 and 30. There is no need to spin the wheel. I didn't know wheel. wheel spinning. I want to spin the wheel now. Oh. How about that? Now you want to be a tough guy and I'm spinning the wheel. How about that? We're going to do about it. I'm going to spin the wheel all day. How about that? No, I'm not going to do it. one minute. I'm going to spin the wheel. I'm just going to do this like a jerk. Here you go. One minute of this. I think, all right? I think, you like that? I think you like Frank's, that now? I think Frank's afraid of Alien Racer Cheese. It all right, again. Last time. <laughs> wait, wait. Stupid thing, guys. All right, Frank, another number between 1 and 30, and it can't be 15. 15. Oh, he's stumped now. <laughs> Why is it not 15? 15? It can't be 15. Because no. we just did 15. But, all right, all right. Oh, yeah, all right. So it's just saying you only have like one. All right, 30. 30. 30. The answer is Saga. Saga? S E G A. Saga. Is it an alien? Saga race? cheese. I mean, uh, come on. That, that, can, you, can you describe this cheese? Saga cheese? Yeah. <laughs> it's an epic cheese. It's what a magnificent cheese. A saga cheese. Saga is a mix of blue cheese and brie, creamy blue vein cheese with a white mold rind. It sounds terrible. I don't believe that. That's a fake. That's that's a fraud. Oh, this was all lovingly uh, recent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. We'll buy your crack staff yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whoa. All right. At Frank Thierry on Twitter? Yeah, I'm on you the were, Twitter and I'm uh, on the Facebook. And Family friendly? Man, yeah. man, fish, fish. <laughs> All right, Mind guys, we're gonna we're gonna show you a costume contest. We're gonna be back. Maybe Frank will be here. Probably not. Probably we're gonna definitely not. Comic Con, that's for sure. Here at Marvel Live at New York Comic Con 2015.